So now the next thing we need to do is reset the EEPROM and you should do this every time you reflash because if you don't, some settings changes that you made may not apply. So to do that, you can either do it through the LCD, which I'm gonna show you now, or if you know how to connect to your printer over serial connection, you can also do that with the G code command M502 followed by M500. So I'm gonna show you with the LCD right now. I'm gonna press the button on the encoder here, go down to configuration, go down to reset EEPROM, and then select reset. At this point, if you have a beeper on your screen, it'll make a little confirmation beep, and then it'll say settings stored. At this point, the EEPROM is now reset.